Jesus, meh. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Mofa Project. So uh, today I wanted to continue working on this bad boy right here. So I figured out there were some problems with the rocks. I wanted to have some more darker colors into it. And then uh, we're going to move on to the second part, which is going to be putting more rocks down and making those rocks also uh, make them also look nicely so uh that's what we're going to be doing today so we're going to create rocks we're going to create some grass around uh, underneath it and then uh, we're going to move on to uh the the big grass part right here that we're going to be adding up and fully so uh no further ado let's get started shall we so it did it did yep there you go so what I figured out um, was that the, these rocks are a little bit too lightened. Uh, lightened? Um, ah. Uh, let's see. The, here is the, those are the rocks that are from. This is the rock part there. Yeah. So first we need to figure out where it is again because it has some beans sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I'm always having so much trouble just figuring out where the hell I need to look for. Because this is like right there. We don't need that. We don't need this. Do we need this? No, we don't need that as well. So we're going to close that down. Do we need this? No. We're going to close that down. And then we're going to just look for the thing we're looking at. Um... No, this then, right? No, that's the drawing. Is it right here? No, it's upper. All right, fine. So it's right here then. No, what the hell? So is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. All right. Is this the color? Yes. All right. We're gonna add a second layer to this because I don't want to ruin the original uh, original coloring here, and we're gonna just add up uh, a little bit of a texture right there, like this, uh, fifty percent, I believe. And we want to create a little bit more darker kind of feeling towards these rocks. Why do I want this? Because technically these rocks also have this darker effect on it. And I want that also to be represented in the other parts as well. Of course we're going to make sure that that is also intended here, but of course we can also remove some stuff here and there. So like for instance here we can remove it a bit. Remove it a bit here. And then we need to remove it a bit more, like, you know, gentle. So, like this. And then we can also add in the blend tool for a bit more. And that will also give the rocks a little bit more feeling of, you know, variety, and it does give it a little bit more of a leeway. Yeah. Because I don't like having, you know, just rocks getting there and then, you know, not figuring out how to do things properly. Uh, yeah, that is good enough. Alright. There you go. Good. So now we need to look for the draw uh, the drawing that we made. Uh, I believe that's underneath this. Yes, it's underneath that. Good. 
So we have the rocks and we have the drawing itself. So we have the drawing and we have the rocks. The rocks should be in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the drawing, this is the rocks, this is how it's gonna be looking at. Uh, these are the rock colors for that. All right, good. Um, yes. All right. Now we're gonna move. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna draw it over here. So we're gonna pick up the pencil again. Make sure that it is back to three point six. I have been busy. Uh. Uh, with all the loadings. Oh, hey, Wolf. Uh, hey, oh, hey, Wolfie. Hello, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is very appreciated of you. And I think I do need that. So, as you can see, we're trying to get these rocks into our right position right here. Like, we have some rocks, we have some grass, but we do want to make sure that this grass does fit with the whole environment around it. So, what we want to do here is, um... Yeah, we want to lower this down on the severity so that I can see stuff. And then we can draw on it. Let's see how well this drawing is going to be looking at. If I draw, this is how... Alright, good enough. Then I need to lower down as well the other ones as well, so... Like this? Yeah, like this. All right, so I can see the I see the can I can see the stuff, but I do want to create the rocks. So this is one of those rocks. Don't have to be too much of a luck, Vera. And I want these rocks to be like this. So this is the rock I want to choose. So this is the rock I'm gonna go for. It's not a very fancy ro looking rock, but it's a rock nonetheless. So what is gonna be happening now is that we're gonna add in the uh, second line, and then we're gonna just draw over it, and then we're gonna draw some, you know, grass around it. And why are we doing this? Well, it will create the effect that I that I wanted in the first place, and it needs to be done for later on, you know, to get rid of the problem that we are now currently creating. So right now we are here. That's the grass type. Good. So we want we want we want this kind of grass, I believe. So yeah, try to do my very best here. Um, have been working on some other stuff as well. Uh, because you know I had to take a day off. Uh, the mo the most problematical thing that I had with it was that uh, my uh forehead had some issues. It was a. It was not a very problematical issue. It was more like a annoying issue because it gave me so much headaches that I had to, you know, figure out like how the hell do I get rid of it? And eventually, I got out of it. I got rid of it. It's just a little bit hard to do sometimes. I believe this is the way, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have some grass, we have some heavy grass, and then we need to move on. Oh, then I need to draw some more big grass sprites right there. All right, like that. All right, good. Now that we have done that, we can now continue back to the rock, which... We're currently drawing, and we can see where we need to erase some stuff and where we don't erase some stuff. So we are erasing the stuff that we don't need, which is the part where the grass is touching the rock. We don't need that, and now we can move on to fixing this bit upwards. So we have this rock. We have this nice looking rock, which is, you know, a decent shape for a tiny rock. Poor thing, I'm glad you're on the better side. Yeah. Ugh, you don't want to know how annoying it is to constantly be like, ow, headache, ow, headache. Please stop it. It's a, you know, it's a pain in the ass to deal with. Especially when you try to draw and then, you know, you suddenly have like a burst of headaches. Yeah. But uh, it's fixed. It's fixed. I just need to do some, uh, I just need to smear some, uh, 
oily substance on uh, the forehead for a couple of a couple of days, and then it should be over in like a week or two. So this rock, um, how do I want to draw this? Normally we draw it like that, yeah. Normally we draw it like this and then, you know, go one woods with it. And I like to do that, but sometimes it's a bit iffy. Oh. Well, we're gonna run with that. So what I'm trying to do now is creating a rock that is quite decently looking, but also have some strange structures in it, which gives a little bit more leeway once we're getting to the uh, point where it is going to be lighted up from the sky. And the idea is that we're trying to do the very best here to create this rock, but also create not a, too much of a problem with it. There you go. And the more we do this, the better it gets, so don't worry too much about it. There you go. Now we have created the rock. Well, we have created the the look for the rock. And then I now need to make sure that the look of the rock is a little bit more better. Better size. All right. Uh, I need to make sure that this part here is a little more accurate displayed on rock type. Because technically it's just, you know, one shape, but as you can see, it is not fully one shape at all. It's just, you know, a little bit more rusty. It's more like a rock type. And there you go. All right. Now that that is a thing, uh, I can now move, uh, now I can put the coloration on it. So I could do the same layer as this one right here, and then, you know, do the coloring also in this one, but I have learned to make sure that I do this on the right layer. So this is the grass layer. This is non-grass layer. If I do this on the grass layer, then technically this needs to be up moving, which we don't want to. Uh, we want to technically get this rock drawing color underneath, or underneath the, the, huh? Uh, ah, I see. Well, we're gonna do it the original way then. We're creating a group. We're gonna put these things in there. These foolish things. We're gonna put them all in there. Because technically they need to be here. All right. Now we have rocks, and we have def uh, we have uh, we have differentiated them from the original thing, and now we can move on. All right, good. Now we're gonna make sure that this right here, this this drawing, needs to have a color, which is necessary. So we're gonna do that now. And for the first color, we're gonna pick up the natural color that is right over there, I believe. Yeah. Right over there, that's the natural color. Don't mind me just... Oh, why is a small selector there? No, we don't need that. It takes up too much space. We don't need that much space. All right, now we need to draw. Uh, I believe I can do it best with this one itself, right? Uh, what? Is it on this one? No. It's on this one? No. What the hell? Where did I place this one then? Where did I place it? I placed it there. Oh, that's the... Yeah. Yeah. 
I know now why. All right, well, fine. We're going to place it like this. Um, we don't have a lot of rocks now, but that doesn't matter. We have the color that we needed in the first place, and now we're going to draw it in. Oh, that is not going to work. I need to technically do this this way. Because I need to fill up the thing. I need to fill up the thing. At the beginning I need to fill it up. And then I can work around it. So now we have the rock. We have the rock that we needed. Alright. Now we're going to pick up the better color here, because this was absolutely a horrendous color to go for f to begin with. I'm going to go with this color instead, because holy hell, that's a little bit too dark for my liking. Huh? I swear I picked the right color, right? I picked the decent looking color right there. No, I, I, picked, I picked just a casual color, come on. Give me this. Alright, fine. Fine, have it your way. We're gonna light this we're gonna light this baby up then instead. Fine. Fine. Fine, I guess. It's not the way I wanted to do it, but alright. Now we need to get this one. And now we need to get actually the a little bit more. No, oh, that's a little bit too much, I think. Nah, it's still doable. All right. Um, now we have done that. You can now see that it is actually quite looking good. I like it. We can even move, even move it up even work more. So, since we do have the idea, we have the rocks, we can do this, so we're gonna do it anyway. Uh-huh. Alright, now we need to even, now we need to get the darker part up and running so we're gonna go for the dark power well we're gonna do this on a different layer because eh, we can do it on the same layer we can do it on the same layer so we want dark powers on it now we're gonna do it uh, no we need to do it the other way no we need to do it the other way uh we need to do it with this one no this one yeah and then just capacity to 40, I believe. There you go. That looks like a decent rock. Amazing. And now we need to make sure that we have erased every single bit of the line that we failed to create. And then once that is done, we're going to be drawing on the color of the grass and then we're going to move on to the next one because that's also important of course uh i have uh i have some of uh from some of those two messing ups today yeah but looks nice though yeah 
Oh, you don't want to believe what I just saw today. Um, a poor woman just, you know, fell uh, fell over, uh, well, tripped over, and then uh, almost broke her leg, probably. Yeah, it happens. But uh, that just happens, man. That just happens. Just you know, poor woman just breaking their, uh, breaking their, breaking their feet while you're in front of them. It's like, ooh, ooh. And then you're wondering, like, ooh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? And then you know, you hear them like, yeah, it's hurting. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite sad to see, but uh, it happens, you know, when you're trying to do something and then you know suddenly you realize that you know you're at the wrong place, at the wrong time. But, in our ruling, you always need to help them in aid, so I did, I called uh, I called someone and I'm like, hey, can you help this woman out, because I have no idea what I need to do. And so I did. I helped her out, and uh, it was uh, quite nice. Helping that, uh, helping that lady out, and then uh, waiting for the police to arrive, or, you know, Ab uh, Abalanza? I don't think uh, I spell it correctly, but yeah, I helped her out. There you go. Not as hard as I thought it would be, but Hmm, I think I need to erase this, yeah, 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 I do, and I need to erase this one, and then I am fully complete, right, no, 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 still have some rocks there, alright, that looks actually quite nice, I like it. All right. Now that we have done drawing this rock and we have drawn the grass around it, we can now take a look at the grass and be like, ah, oh, well, this grass looks indeed the same as normal. That is important. It looks the same as normal. Ah. Uh, Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. It does look the same. Good. I'm not going to be very iffy with the rest of it. I'm just very iffy with, you know, seeing if it works out. All right, so we have now one rock done. We can now look in towards, like, where do we need more rocks? What kind of rocks do we need? Well, we need one big rock. We're going to do the big rock at last because we want to, you know, systematically add more stuff to it. That's the idea. We're going to be making sure that we have some... Some of the rocks done, and then, you know, once the one of those rocks is done, we're going to move on to the next one. So, we need to now move to this... Yeah, yeah, we need, now need to move to these tiny little rocks over here. So, we're going to make these rocks, and then once those rocks are done, we can go to that one. Oh, no, that sounds like my grandma that does uh, that more than I do, uh, than I would like. But that's nice of you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm, try uh, I'm trying to be nice, you know. But I'm not a very good person when it comes to people. Especially when helping them out. It's like, uh, I actually needed to catch the train. So, bye. You know, then that's that's the kind of me, normally. Oh. Hold on. Uh, nope. Yeah, there you go. So we need to grab this one, grab this one. And we need to be aware that uh, because we're drawing in such tininess, we need to be aware that our pencil is not suitable for this too much. So what I'm doing right here is drawing the rock and then, you know, move onwards towards the next one. But first, I need to make sure that this rock is and key, uh, is possible to be created. So... Just like that. That's a rock. There you go. So that's one rock. Now we're going to create one more. Now we're going to create one more.
I'm going to erase this and do it again. All right. So the more I do this, the more I get towards the point where I want it to be in the first place. But, you know, the, mo the main problem with these rocks is always that, you know, you, you can never have the same rock twice. It's almost impossible until, uh, unless you copy paste it. I like the I like the addition of mus mushrooms. It makes it more forestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the idea. You create more stuff to it. Like, for instance, right here, this is also a thing that I created with it. You know, making this vern popping around. So yeah, you have these you have these eggs, you have these uh, you have these rocks, and the more uh, you have these little rocks, you have these tiny rocks, you have these big rocks. And the more you um, the more you look at the more you look at it, the more it creates this feeling of you know, just rocks. So, like, when I want to do stuff like this, you know, I always try to do my very best on creating the rocks that I want. But I I can never always be too picky with it. And I finally figured out what the pattern was again. Oh man. You don't want to know how hard it was to find out the pattern again with these rocks. Because, you know, you never can do the same rock twice, but you can have the pattern of it, so that you have the pattern around what you wanted to create in the first place. So now we have a rock. Now we're going to create the pattern for it. So we need to make sure that this rock is a little more on the rough side of things. Because we do want to create the rock, but we don't want to create the thing that we wanted to create in the first place. We do we do want to create the thing, but we don't want to, you know, get to a point where we have just a rock and then that's it. That's not what we want. Alright, that's one. And now we're gonna create another tiny bit, a tiny rock, because you know we need to create some tiny rocks and then some big, and then a big rock later on. So we're gonna go for a tiny rock right here, and we're gonna create a rock right here. So that's gonna be like this. And not all the rocks are the same, true, but you can never be too certain about, you know, creating the rocks and then suddenly you've realized like, oh man, these rocks are all horrible. You know, you want you want to create as much variety in the rocks, but you don't want to create too much of the same rock at the same time. So we have now tiny rocks and we can look at the rocks that we have already to double check. And then you see that these rocks are not representing the right amount of things that we wanted to create. So we should create them around here. And now we need to create them again. Alright, fine. I don't mind that, but we do need to keep in mind what, what we're drawing here is on a very harsh difficulty. The main issue with these rocks is always that, you know, when once you create them, they never are the same as always. So we want to create these rocks, but we want to create them in such a way that they do flow with... Even though they're not the same drawing, they, they, even though they are in the same drawing, I cannot always represent the same thing. Because right now I'm drawing way tinier than before. Because of, well, you know, this is big and now we're drawing tiny. So we want to create these rocks, but we do not want to, you know, upset the rock community. So we do need to make sure that we keep the same ideas with these rocks. I like so. Nee! It's not geen here. Alright. So now we have this. This is actually quite better. Alright. 
Now we're gonna do the hard thing, and that is actually technically doing the thing that I always need to do, but uh, that's always the hard thing anyway. Now we're gonna color it in. First we're gonna lock down the drawing, and then we're gonna color it in. As you probably already can see, the more you color it in, the more stranger it becomes, because now they look more like the rocks that we have down here. Yes, that's because of the blend coloring. Because of the coloring, it does give some leeway there, here and there. And we're not yet done because we don't have even drawn the grass under it, underneath it. But the grass will be going, is the last thing we need to do. We need to first fix the coloring of it, and then, you know, then finally get out with the rest of it. So now we need to get some lighter colors in there. So some lighter colors. And you can see that it has no effect anymore. All right, cool. Well, since then that doesn't have any effect anymore, we're going to go even higher. Because we do want to create this kind of idea that, you know, these rocks are... They, they, they do represent rocks, all right? They, they're not stupid. They're not... E they're easy, manipulative things that, you know, be they need to be there on the grass. They need to be filled up with joy and all that stuff. And therefore, you know, these rocks need to be happy looking. Because, you know, you cannot have dark, grim, rocky terrain that, uh, you know, represent the forest when you don't have a good forest. Eh, I don't think that's the way to say it, but... There you go, that, that makes it more look like a rock. Alright, now we're going to even go even higher. And why we're doing that is because we can then add in some highlights here and there to give the rock even more leeway than it had before. And I want to do that so that, you know, everything is going to be going well. Also, the boss was very happy today because I figured out finally how to do goddamn uh, one of the uh, I figured out one finally what, how I can do the uh, how do you say this uh, software. I finally figured out how to use the software with a certain types of settings, and it was a very mystery back in our uh, at our department. So you know. I need to make sure that I was like, hey boss, check this out, I figured it finally out, and then, you know, he was like, oh man, that looks cool, and that's amazing, you know, well done, great job boss, oh great job, Johan, and I was like, thanks man, thanks, I really appreciate it. Alright, cool, uh, we have now the thing that we have to have, and uh, we have some more rocks, so let's, uh, let's check those rocks out. So we now have these rocks, these rocks look decent. They look nice, and from a bigger point of view, they look decent. Nice. So you can already see how this goes. So we're gonna go from we're gonna go from like big detail rocks to less detail rocks to absolutely no detail on the rocks anymore. But we want to create this feeling of you know depth. We want to create this depth, and this depth needs to be going on and on and on and on and on. And on. <gasps> All right. So one of these issues is that we want to do that, right? We want to create these rocks. But to create these rocks, we also need to figure out how to give these rocks their feeling, these rocky nature of it. And you can already see that there are some multiple things that we want to create. We have like, for instance, we have a rock right here. We have a rock right there. And the more we create on this big scene right here, so this this scene right here, if you, hold on, I'm going to be drawing it on this one here. If you see this scene right here and you, and you follow, you follow this, you follow this deep line, you know, if you follow this line right here, the scene is going to be moving this way. So what I want is I want this scene to be going this way, and then once I added in the big trees again, we have this scene that walks this way. Then there's going to be a scene that's going to be walking from that way to this way. And then there's also going to be a scene that goes from this way to that way. So 
then we have the trees that are represented into the drawing itself so we have trees right here right there and those trees are need to be represented like this and these trees aren't going to be this is going to be very iffy one this is going to be the hardest part right here this bit right here needs to be technically less detailed than this so technically i can only do like you know do like this kind of point of view and then you know add some more grass to it and then you know move onwards to this side and then be like oh man these trees are so cool and cool looking and yay but as you can see the more i do this the more the more depth it will create uh, the creation of depth is very important in this drawing but it also needs to make sure that the flow of the drawing itself so the flow around it the flow with the flow with the background so the foreground and the background need to be flowing so all of this needs to be going flowing into this direction and all of that needs to be going flowing in this direction this way once you look at everything so once you look at everything in that direction so if you look at this in that direction you will see the big giant holy moth that's you know reciting that so you know we could do like a we could do like a big giant light show right here like warm you know like those holy books they always have those uh highlighted figures with their holy circle but yeah so this moth fork right here this thing it does exist and it needs to be you know it needs to be representing correctly and by giving the whole background the idea of that so by giving the background the feeling of depth by giving the background the idea of you know putting forward the signs everywhere you know uh, pulling the background into it it will give the feeling of forwardness and then once you take it a bigger picture you will see the morphog into the building itself so you can see the morphog already going into the forest and that gives the better understanding on how this all works of course you know this is a very bad idea to put uh, i believe this i believe putting the putting this in the uh, putting this behind the trees that's true this one needs to be behind the trees but the next one needs actually technically to be going behind those trees and this bit right here this this cannot happen technically it needs to be going like this and that is going to be a layer issue that this is going to be a big layer time this is going to be a big layer change because right from for, uh from this uh from a long time we have been working on this layer this layer right here we have been working on this for quite a while and uh we have been expanding that from left to right and we can no longer do that because well you know if we draw here you can already see that this is a different layer so this layer right here needs to be filled up by its own layer then we need to move on to this layer that only can be existing around this corner right here and then this layer can only be existing around this corner but this one is locked off quite good this one this part right here is locked off good so that there we don't have any problems whatsoever but we need to make sure that we don't draw over here or draw over there you know we don't want this so yeah it's a it's a tiny little layer issue that you know happens because well you know you try to be better at uh doing the things that you want to do you want to create the motion you want to create the uh the whole creation of it but in the bigger picture right here you know you can see already like yeah we don't need this anymore we don't need this and the more we the more we do the more we do this the better the better it gets it's just you know that the little the little issues that we have with the layer it will uh, it will be solved later on it's a it's not a problem later it's just a problem right now because well you know we have been oh it's not a problem right now because we we have been working on it 
but the uh, main issue with it is that you know these things uh, it's all explain it's all explaining how things work and I have no problems with it honestly it's just you know it's a very annoying concept when you're trying to draw something and then suddenly your whole plan changes because you know you need to fix the layers and that is a thing that always happens with me because I'm a very very bad person when it comes to those things I'm a very chaotic person when I when I try to draw, and uh, layers always get upside down and left to right. But I always keep to the same. I always keep to the same layering. Um, allow me to show you because that's a very good way to tell you what that what the hell I just try to explain. Um, hold on, I just almost. All right, so. Because I always have this trouble with layering, uh, the the whole damn thing will become big and strong. You know, it's it's gonna be a big one. Uh, hold on, I need to save first before I do anything because otherwise I'm gonna be very funny here. All right. So the main issue with this the main issue with this drawing is always that you know it's it's gonna be big and strong, and uh, those layers are always on the same side. So for instance, with a sketch. I will I will show you with a but I will show you with an example right here. I always work I always work on one layer to the uh, to the other. So I have the character in one layer, and then you know I move the rest to the background. So I start coloring first the one character, then I start coloring the rest, then I start coloring the second character, and then I will start coloring the buildings, then I will start coloring the bat mountains to make sure that the chaotic aspect of this whole drawing will be gone that's the idea of course you know you cannot always you cannot always you cannot always count on it but yeah it's it's a it's a unique it's a good idea to have you know it's a it's a nice thing to have and what that's what i like about it the, mo the most of the uh, most of the drawings that I try to do are always representing the same thing as always. You know, you want to, you want to create something. Well, you need to have consistency in your work, and especially with rocks or, you know, backgrounds or whatever. You want to keep the consistency as steady as possible to gain more progress into your art style and gain more progress into towards the work you do. For instance, right now I'm trying to draw these rocks. Yes, true. I'm trying to draw these rocks and. Uh, they're very hard to draw, but you can also see there are some issues. Like for instance, right now we have an issue in the, uh, I believe it's in the, yes, it's in that layer, right? Because it's not a layer or it's not in the layer of the drawing itself. Yeah, it's in the layer of the, it's in the layer of the coloring, not, is it in the layer of coloring? No, it's not in the layer of coloring, it's actually in the, it's not in the layer of coloring, it's in the, line work so how do we do that how do we fix such issues that we have now one of those issues that we now uh, are facing is that the line the line work of it is too rough and that can always happen you know you can always have some line work that is a little bit too rough on the side or it's too much exic exhilarated or whatever it's called and you want to prevent that from happening you don't you don't want this you don't want to you don't want to create this line that is uh abysmal to look at because it's too pressurized it it creates this uh uneven feeling when you're trying to create the rock so right now we have this issue and we're going to resolve it by fine lining it there you go so right now we have this rock again, but this time we have the bits that need to be the, the bits that need to be recalled or the things that needed to be, you know, out of the picture are now out of the picture right then. There you go. Now, of course, you know, it's not the best solution, of course, but it does, you know, it does lower the amount of lines that are created on the back on the background or on the on the feeling itself. Um, do I want to continue today or do I not? I will, but I will try to do my very best to do it progressively so that, you know, nothing happens too badly out of control. 
so right now we have like this uh we have now two rocks so we're gonna go first with a slow rock and then we're gonna go with a big rock so there are some rocks here all right there are some rocks here that that require uh cr require some lining and some you know looking into so this is for instance one of those rocks that is going to be a very difficult one to do first of all we need to draw a line right here and uh, you're probably wondering, like, why do we want to draw a line right here? Because not every rock is very tough. It's a it's a little bit of a concept that, you know, you have, like, br uh, br uh, brittle rock that, you know, falls down or creates a bit of a issue later on. So the more you do this, the more easier it becomes. So... These rocks, they represent, and I need to do start with, you know, doing the little swipey movements and create these little mountain tops. These mountain tops are representing the uh, lines that, you know, are that we're going to be using for later on work. Of course, we can, you know, move onwards and we can create these rocks quite out of the out of the out of nowhere. We can create multiple rocks here and there. And they will give us more of a heads up when things go bad. And that is what these rocks do. They create the effect. Oh, well, these rocks will give us the uh, way of creating shapes into the rocks that we already have. So this is one of those rocks that is going to be shaping the other rock. So now we can say like, ah, uh, we don't want, we don't want this line. We don't want this line. We, we, we could, you know, could technically go for like a little bit more of a sharper corner and then go backwards into it. It, it, it does, you know, give a more natural look to it. If we, you know, also bend up the, the lines right there and, you know, flatten this bit a bit and there you go now that that's a decent rock you know now that's a decent rock and especially if we go it up like if we add it up like this so now that we have this rock instead of you know the the big chunky boy we have now split up the rock successfully which causes a lot of issues to occur in the approach of how to draw the rock in the first place because technically all these rocks are all the same they they always have the same idea with it they have the tiny little drawing bits that are you know representing in the uh, little lines right there with the with dark and light and effect which of course are also here but they're always different rocks you know you have you have added, you have like different rocks you have different shapes of rocks you can have volcano rocks which actually technically float which is quite amazing actually and you can make shoes out of them that's how good those rocks are that that you can make a shoe out of them by just pressing a pencil to it you can technically make a shoe out of it with a pencil that's how uh, shapeable they are. I would not recommend wearing them because they're actually made of glass. So uh, good luck not getting bleed out by, uh, you know, your shoes that you just made. But uh, yeah, it's quite amazing and fascinating to know that uh, certain ro rocks are different on shaping, different on uh, the way of their strength, their weaknesses, and even rocks that can float. So technically, you could make a boat out out of it. Uh, of course, it's not advisable, but you could make it. Just a, fl a floating boat. Could you imagine that? A floating boat? Yeah, a floating rock boat. The only downside is that the uh, way of how to use it is uh, the issue. Because it is a very brittle substance, it could not hold its own weight, or it will br it will crack and shatter. And when you try to grasp it for, you know, <laughs> getting to safety, yeah, you're going to cut yourself. That is going to be the main issue. That's why I know most people don't rely on those rocks. Of course, you know, I would never rely on those rocks because they're actually quite fun to look at. But yeah, you could make a you could make a be, uh, you could make a be, uh, baiting duck out of it. Yeah, there you go. And that that would be the useful thing about it. Of anything else is not as useful as that, but a baiting duck, oh, count me in. That, that's a thing that you could make. These rocks are, you know, they're all the same. 
they're all the same with all these rocks. You need to shape them, you need to make them stand out of each other. And that's always a thing, especially with these things. You want you want to create a rock? Well, congratulations. You need to make shape. You need to shape it. You need to give it. A, you need to give it form. And then once you're done with that, then you have the rock. So right now we have the rock. And now we're gonna pick up the color again. We're gonna first pick up the blend as color that is just you know, it's just gray. Yeah, I like gray. I don't like you know normal gray. No, no, no. no. I want that gray that everybody talks about, that uh, that uh, car boot sill gray. Yeah, that will that will definitely, definitely bring out uh, the people. And uh, you know that's uh, that's definitely a thing. You know, the car boot sill gray right there. It's a, it's car it's car boot sill gray. It, it, does it have any other function than car boot sailing? No, it's just gray that looks different. And now that we have done that, we can now change the car boot sill gray to medium ass gray. Medium ass gray, of course, is the gray that everybody talks about. It's that uh, hip new thing that uh, is from twenty two. You know, be like, hey, have you ever checked? Uh, gr have you ever checked that new hip gray? Wah. You should have seen it, man. It's, it's it's new. It's great. Everybody loves it. And uh, then you have always that uh, problem where, you know, those teenagers are wearing it too much and you're like, man, I wish I had that old car boot sill gray, man. That is so much better. And people would think I'm cool and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's why car boot sill gray is always out of the running n normally. But, uh, yeah, it does make you cool. It does make you cool when you look at uh, old gray, you know. So now that we have car boot gray, car boot sill gray out of the window and uh, regular as gray, we're gonna now go for uh, fancy gray. You know, the ones that people normally buy buy it for. Like, you know, you wanna buy that fancy gray? You know, with that extra perky, uh, uh, crispy look on it? Oh man, you wish you had this, man. You wish you had this, but of course, you know, you never can have this too much because otherwise people would complain about it and uh, totally not make things up about it. And uh, we cannot have you ruin this repetition of this crispy gray. And then you realize that a crispy gray has been made by, uh, I don't know, made out of squids. And you're like, how dare you murder those squids? Those squids were my family. And then you munch on one of the squids out of the snack bar and you realize, like, those squids taste good, but I want those squids back, man. So, yeah, people selling squids on the squid market. Whew. That is some new stuff. And then, of course, once you're done with that, you always have that uh, that dude that is always like... Oh, uh, hold on. That dude that's always, like, uh, having that trouble. So... You you know that you know that you, everybody knows that guy. It's that uh, that that guy with that the blonde hair and that fancy look and that fancy look on his ass, and uh, he's always like, "Dude, chillax, man. I got I got this." So then it turns out you know he has a girlfriend, which uh, you know totally doesn't fit his uh, ego, and eventually they break up, and it's like, "Foof, man, that girl, man, that girl, foof." That looks uh, that's some hot that's some hot that's some hot drama right there, and then you realize that you know she was only dating him for the money because he was that rich rich dude from uh, where which his dad owned that company, and you're like, damn, she got all that stuff for free. Whew. I'm jealous now. So yeah, that's that uh, that's a golf chick, definitely that golf chick, good looking, nice looking. Definitely something wrong with her. Always asking questions double. Ah, I forgot something. I need to make this into regular gray. Cannot have that. Cannot have that sweet ass darkness taking over. And then of course, you know, we need to also make sure that that is also nicely fit with some fancy crispy gray right there.
sometimes you wonder why why you're trying to do something like that, but uh, uh, hold on. There you go. And then you know you can also blend in stuff if you really are indecisive of what kind of grey you want, but you know it's always good to have some things like this up and running. Alright. Now we have a rock again. We have a rock. Ooh, fancy rock, yes. It is actually a very fancy rock. Of course, you know, this fancy rock has some issues because technically there needs to be some grass here and there, but you know, well, we're gonna ignore the we're gonna ignore the grass right now. We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna create it soon. Just don't worry about it too much. And we have now another rock done. And by the time, so I sadly need to call it quits here, but uh yeah. We only need one more rock and then we can start up the grass. And smoke it big time. <laughs> because, you know, everybody needs some grass in their life. Especially the green one. The greener the better. That's the good stuff. Alright. I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I uh, hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And, uh... Bye!